Um, what next? Right, stick with the Game Boy. Uh, I've seen this, and the guy had two of these. One of them I already had, well, I had the variant of it, and this one I didn't. Um, and, and yeah, I thought, it's going to be a bit expensive perhaps. So, that's him, you know. How much, how much is it, mate? Ten pounds. It says it, but it's like he had two like sets. So um, what it is, it's basically a boxed Game Boy Color. I mean, boxes isn't in, in you know mint condition. You know the old Marcus Jobby again. Copying all the best, all the best. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And uh, you know it's all complete. Absolutely perfect. You know. Except for me smudging it. PT's got some perfect condition. Uh, oh, I've got to see what the batteries in it look. Um, so the games that come with it, anyway, were. And this one isn't boxed. So there's three games. This is Conker's Pocket Tales, which is in here. It says. I don't think it's any good. I had. Now I know that. Um, SNES tactics going to kill me. Well, not going to kill me, but I, I did mention. A couple of weeks ago, I think I, it might have been before I started doing pickups actually. But I got Conker's Live and Reloaded on the X, the normal Xbox, and I, I flea bait anyway. Yeah, you know, and to be fair, it just goes for quite a lot. I mean, and I know that Butters sent him a free copy, and that guy's a legend. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if this is any good, Conker's Pocket Tales, but yeah, I mean, it's working, you know. So anyway, so th there was that. Then the other two games they, 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 uh, they had, and I was just ashamed on this that the box was ripped. Is Tom and Jerry Mouse Hunt, and then um, <laughs> it's Harry Potter. And this is a Game Boy Color version, and that and, and the Tom and Jerry was. So anyway, so I got the box Game Boy, three games. He wanted a tenner, okay, and I managed to get him down to six quid, which I thought was all right. I mean, this has got everything in it. It's got you know all of the, it's all in the cellophane and everything. The whole, the whole, the whole lots in there, you know. Absolutely, mint. all the all the uh, packaging and all the, the actual internals is all there. So off six quid, considering the condition, that's that wasn't bad. That, that's the, the the most expensive purchase that I've, I've done today. Um, so I thought that was all right. Um, what else next? Yeah, now I'm see. I do collect for this, and I, I, I love the console. Although when I was younger, I was a Super Nintendo. Not a Mega Drive, and one of my mates was Mega Drive. Um, but I, 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 I think it's one of these things whereby if you if you've never had it and you see the stuff, you think, oh, now you can have it. it it's different. So anyway, I've been collecting for the Mega Drive, you know, um, quite a bit. And uh, when I get my better camera, I'll, I'll, I'll give a quick skim through of what I've got. It's nothing compared to to Marcus's or anything like that. But I, I'm getting there anyway. But anyway, this is one of the games that people just laugh at, and it's all to beast, and you know. I haven't got it. You know, try and pick it up. It, it's complete, albeit slightly bad. Which for car boot, you can't, you know, can't argue with. Um, so that's twenty p. It's, it's just some guy in it in a box. It's just in a box. And this one, I have never heard of. Um, and I don't know if it's any good or not. And I, and I must be getting close to having all the EA games. Anyway, it's General Chaos. No, it's all, it's all in there. It says it's all falling out. And again, that was 20p from the same guy. And he had, he had Street Fighter Turbo, the Japanese version. And obviously, when he said 20p, he thought, yes. When I opened it up, lo and behold, no fucking game in there. So I said to him, well, I'll have a mooch around your junk. Because that's what it was. It was just little boxes of junk. And these were just piled in with some videos. Um, see if you can find it. See if I can find the cassette, the, the cartridge. Nah. So that was a bummer. Um, what do I get next? Uh, I'll come to that one last because that's a funny one. Um, okay, what I, what I bought as well, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are interested in any of this really, but I'll put it on here anyway. Because um, these just tend to be a bit of eBay fodder, but they're, they're quite good fun. What I picked up first is. Where is it? The plug and plays. Ugh, it says. Right, now this is the sensible soccer one. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like a two player, two player jobby. Okay. Um, that was 50p. 
Now again, I mean, you know, for that much money, and this is in really good nick, actually, looks near, near brand new. I just put it on my on eBay just to get my money back. I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, you know, I'm not a reseller, but everyone's got to, you know, you've got to keep your collection going, ain't you? So that's kind of, you know, what I do. Then I dropped really lucky so on the second run round. I, I found this woman had some of these plug and play things, and I said to her, I said, oh, how much are the how much are your games? How much are your controllers? I said, not your game. She said two pound. I was like, what? Two pound? I was like, she said, oh well. And she just want to pay for them. I said, well, I'll give you two pounds for the lot. And I thought, we're shaking out like this. And she said, oh, well, how many's in there? She counted them up. She said, oh, go on then. And it was four. So 50p each. You know, it's a bit of a bargain. And these ain't in, you know, these are in good condition as well. So anyway, and one of these I've had before, uh, that's the Namco one. This is a pretty decent, um, actually, plug and play, to be fair. Really good fun. It's got Pac Man on it. Um, Galaxians and stuff like that. I think there's about four. I think there's a four in one. There's four games on this one. So that's. I mean, that looks nice as well. You know, I mean, you could probably just stand that on your on your, on your shelf. Um, then the other one, um, which I've seen a guy selling further down, which is the Mega Drive. And I think Steve Benway's. I want to say he did a thing on this. These are all the Radica by made by Radica. Um, so yeah, this is the, this, this, the Mega Drive one. Again, these are all basically 50p each. Um, next one is... I'll do this one. I, I, again, these two I haven't seen before. I mean, if, you know, I'm not saying they're, they're rare or anything like that. But this is a pinball one. I'm just trying to show you. Classic pinball. So you've got all the things there. I haven't tried any of these, so no more fucking luck. None of them will work. All the, all the connectors are all mounted or something. All the mold batteries in them. Um, so yes, there's a pinball one there, and then the last one, which I think looks pretty, pretty cool, and a left and right controller, it's the Space Invaders one. There you go, so you've got like the twin left and right on there. Uh, and this one, weirdly enough, can actually run off a voltage, you've got a little adapter, I mean I think with it, yeah, they're, they're all battery powered. So for 50p, that, I didn't think they were bad, you know, and I say, if, if I make a couple of quid on it, it goes towards next week's uh, car boot fund. You know, especially as now, the, the time's running out, so they ain't going to be on much longer. Now, I spoke to you guys last week about the Intellivision, and if, you, if you're not interested, switched off now. But I've seen the guy there, he was, well, he's always there, but um, he wasn't at his stall, I mean, recognise his stall anyway. And uh, his wife was there, and you're going to like this bit. So I had a look at that and they had some N sixty four games. So how much year? How much is Nintendo games? And she said, uh, oh they're two pound each. And so I seen this one and I seen it last week and he was asking I think six or seven quid for it and all the rest were two pound. I was like, alright and so I picked this up, sort of turned it over, and then um I look at the yeah, there's a couple of other bits and bobs, uh, PlayStation one and stuff like that. So anyway, so that was your PlayStation game, she said one pound fifty. So I picked this up and it's Grand Theft Auto, but it's the collector's edition. Yeah. So that was £1.50. And obviously with this N64 game, it's £3.50. So I said to her, you take three quid. She hummed an oh, I can't really. So well, yeah. You ain't going to take a moment. She said, oh, go on then. And uh, so I walked away laughing my head off. And the game I picked up for basically £1.50. <laughs> Mario Kart 64. Now that me seller guy, obviously, I, and when I came back around the second time, he, he, I, I don't know if he knew that boy. I, I didn't tell him, but I thought, well, that gets you back to fucking television, you bastard. I asked him about it, and he was a bit panicky. Just oh, how, how's, the, how's the eBay thing going? Because I think Mink Thirty Six has, has found it on eBay. I haven't had a look to be fair. Uh, he said, oh, so it's thirty quid, seven hours to go. And I was like, oh, you'll be all right, you know, sort of thing. Hoping you fucking serve that right if you lose out of pocket a bit. Um, so I, I don't know how, how it's doing now. Um, but the other two games I picked up, and again, it, it, um, a lot of pick up yesterday. I don't collect for this, but uh, I think I'm doing. I'm going to do a trade with um, Butters for, for one of the games. Um, and I've got two more here. I, 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 again, I don't know what these are like, but these are the ones I've got only only on Xbox on. So I thought I'll, I'll grab these anyway. Um, first one is, and these are all completely unstructured. Mad Dash. Fucking sunlight. Mad Dash Racing. Mad Dash Racing, yeah. 
Is it something that all it's all in there like all the all the stuff. And Blink's a time sweeper. Again, sort of so yeah, so the, you know, they'll trade or they'll go eBay trying to get some of pens back so I can go next week. Um, what else did I get? Uh, da, 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 not which house now. Uh, oh, I'll pick this up. And it's not that I don't pick these up, it's just that I don't see them. And I've seen this one straight away and it's in lovely condition and it's um, Kingdom Hearts Guide. Fucking heavy. Uh, I've got the first one. I, thought, I think this is the first one. It doesn't actually say. Well, I don't know if it's number two because I can't. I'm not sure if that sword means it's the second one. But I thought I'd pick it up. It's 30p. Right, I, I, I grabbed that. Then lastly, again, it's. I don't, I don't collect for it. It's just more to sort of you know get some of the money back. It's only I think 30p. It is a cheetah. Fucking PC wakes up. One two five joystick boxed. You know, I mean, obviously the box is. But the actual joystick is a pretty good nick. Uh, there you go. So, I don't know if that's. Again, any good to anybody? Um, do you want to trade or. put me a few quid for it or whatever? You know, it's safe, not. It's, it's, it's going on eBay. Uh, you know, oh, it's compatible with most computers, in, including Spectrum Plus 2. There you go, it's a whole list of them down there. It, it's a normal nine penny job, so it works with most of the stuff. And then, oh, actually, the other thing that I, 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 I dug out in my loft, and it's tied in with that, I've got a Quick Shop Python 2. These are awesome joysticks. Fully mock switched. You know, uh, so that, yeah, that, this is what it works with the Commodores, MSX, Amstrad, Sagas, and, and stuff like that. So, again, you know, if anyone's interested in either of them joysticks or whatever, Drop me a PM down there, we'll sort some of out, or like I said, it's always uh, never going on old, old flea bay. Um, and I think that's it, guys. So, other than that, take it easy. And again, depending on how, how I get on next week, although I'm off uh, and our funds are, um, might be some pickups. I will do a video on Saturday, otherwise, it's fingers crossed for the car boot next Sunday. Take it easy, YouTube. See you in a bit.